Hello, I'm Vitaly Klebichkin, speaking for Lex Sharonov, and in this video tutorial I'll continue to talk about color correction using color checker in 3D LUT Creator. We will consider color correction the video from cameras that don't support shooting in RAW or log profiles. First, let's do a little experiment. Suppose we shoot a gray object with a video camera. Each camera has its own built-in RAW converter, which converts a sensor data into sRGB, REC709 or other similar formats. In our experiment, I will simulate a built-in converter with the help of Adobe Camera RAW. Suppose we shot the gray object, but forgot to set the correct white balance. And the picture has turned yellow. In an ideal situation, after we shot this material, we just correct white balance and get the right gray color of our object. Let's complicate our experiment a little. Camera manufacturers try to make camera pictures more beautiful. They add contrast, decrease shadows, increase saturation and eventually we can get something like this. Let's slightly reduce the exposure and add saturation for demonstration purpose. If we try to correct the white balance, we'll see that the shadows, midtones and highlights are colored differently. This tells us that for the proper white balance correction, we need to have the video that isn't distorted by the contrast curves, and all other cases will fail. Let's take a real example. This material was sent by Dmitri, a special thanks to him. He said that the rental office mistakenly gave him lamps with a different color temperature. The result here is a strange color. This scene was shot by an icon without any log profiles. Let's see what we can do. I load a still in 3D LUT Creator and we are primarily interested in color checker. In order to understand how close we are to the right color, I'll choose a color checker tool and position checker grid over the image. Now we can see how our result differs from the standard colors. We have an average deviation delta E of 16. First, let's try to fix the color with the white balance tool. It becomes a little better. We receive an average deviation of 14. Can we improve it? Let's disable the white balance, as we have seen that in the developed image it doesn't work quite right. Let's try to use curves. If I choose gray tool at the RGB curves and click on any color I want, it will rebuild the curves to make the color neutral. I will go over all neutral color checker patches. Thus, I have curves that make all patches neutral. The average deviation is 14 again, so we didn't come closer to the ideal. Yes, we see that the neutral patches are neutral, but they differ in brightness. Let's try to adjust the patches brightness. I reset the RGB curves. I will use the exact tool, which works as follows. I need to set a color. Suppose, for example, I choose gray. Then, when I click on any color in the image, RGB curves are constructed so that the color has become exactly what I select from the palette. I will not set the color manually. I will take it from the reference values. So that the palette doesn't disappear when I choose exact tool, I click the button pin here. That is, this panel will be here permanently. Reset curves again. I choose the first color and select exact tool. When I click on the reference patch, the reference color is automatically taken from the palette. When I click on the current color, the palette color changes on the selected color. And there is a point in the curves which makes the current color set to the reference. Now select the next patch. Select exact tool. First click on the reference color to select it, then click the current color to change it. 
I go on to the next color, click on the reference and the current color. And so on. And the last patch. So we build the curves that neutralize the neutral patch's distortion in color and brightness. The average delta E was reduced to 7. Let's now compare before and after corrections. This is the before and after. Colors are closer to natural, but that's not all. In order to not manually put the points on the curves, I added the button linearize. Pressing this button automatically does the same. The points for neutral patches on the RGB curves I adjusted to bring them to the reference values. Thus, we solved two problems at once. First, we corrected the white balance, and in the light and the shadows, we have a corrected neutral color. And second, we compensate the unknown camera tone curves and got a linear color image. The contrast that was used by the camera was removed, and we can work with a linear color. Then, we would like to build a color matrix so that the colored patches lead to the reference values. But the problem is that the channels in 3 d LUT Creator work before applying the curves, and if we use it, it will be applied to the uncorrected color value. To resolve this issue, let's see the signal path. We have the channel mixer or a color matrix, and then the curves I applied. But beyond that, we have a section of the external LUT. And if we select input position, External LUT will be the first and it goes before the channel mixer. Thus, if we pack the curves to the external LUT, the curves will work before the channel mixer. And then the channel mixer will work with the linear color. Let's do it. To pack the curves to the external LUT, I use the menu item Edit, Compile LUT and load it as external LUT. Click it. In the end we have the image that doesn't change, but the curves have returned to their initial state. They are in the external LUT. If I turn it off, we'll get the original image. If I enable it, the compensating curves will work. Now I can turn on the color checker tool and click match to build a color matrix. Here is a corrected matrix. Let's see how it affects our image. This is the before and after. We enhanced the skin tone. The average delta E becomes less on 20 hundreds, which is even closer to the ideal. I will consider how to achieve even greater color accuracy in the next video. Let's fix the problem caused by the difference in the lamp's temperature. To do this, I will select a circular grid, move the cursor over the image and see that the color in the shadows are slightly red, while the lights are here on this line. I will move the red colors closer to the yellow, without affecting the highlights. This is the before and after. We get a smooth skin tone. The checker tool can be turned off. The color correction is no longer needed and you can easily add brightness and contrast. And the final image. That's what we had before and this is after. There is a tremendous difference. I'll send LUT into Photoshop And I received the corrected video. That's what it was before, and this is after. The colors are much cleaner, and we did it despite the fact that the video was filmed in the Rec. 709. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for your attention, and have a great color.